Hi, this is Don Farber with VineyardSoft Corporation, and I'd like to welcome you to this training session on query designing in the KnowledgeSync solution. The topic of this training course is the creation of calculated fields in KnowledgeSync queries, and this is part one of two sessions on the creation of calculated fields. Now we're going to begin by working in a CRM or sales application and we're going to talk about creating a calculation that identifies those sales opportunities that have been closed where their realized revenue is less than a certain percentage of their forecast revenue. So we'll open up this query and start our work on the Columns tab. To create a calculated field, go to the Columns tab and click on the button called Add Calculated Column to Query. That will bring up the following Calculation Wizard window. At the top of this window is a list of advanced calculations that you can perform. We'll touch upon these in the subsequent training session on calculated fields. Beneath that is a list of fields or columns from the tables that have been chosen for this query. And over on the right hand side is a list of date variables that can also be used in your calculations. Down at the bottom of this window is an area titled Calculated Column Workbox and that's where you're able to assemble the calculations that you wish to be performed. For our purpose, we're going to start our calculation by choosing the field that contains the actual amount of a closed sale opportunity. So we're going to scroll down until we find our opportunity related fields and select the field that contains the actual amount. Now in order to perform the calculation that we're interested in, we're going to need to take that field, its value, and multiply it times 100. And in fact, I want to make sure that that calculation gets performed before anything else, and so we're going to surround that calculation with parentheses. As you can see, these values you can just directly type in from your keyboard. Now to finish this calculation, we're going to insert the divide by symbol, and then choose the field that contains the sales potential, of the opportunity that was closed. So I'll scroll my list a little bit further down until I find sales potential, double click on that, and my calculation is done. At this point I can click on my OK button to return to the main columns tab. And if I scroll my list of selected columns for this query down to the very end, you'll notice that our calculation appears as the most recently added column. If I wish to edit that calculation or view it, I can simply click in that field and then click on the list button that appears there. But we're happy with the calculation, so we don't need to change that, but we do need to change the default customized name that gets associated to this field. KnowledgeSync will automatically assign a name to that field, but you'll want to modify it. And so maybe we'll say actual underscore revenue underscore PCT for percentage. So we've now created a column that contains the results of this calculation and thus those results can be put into an outgoing alert message. However, if we take a look at the name of this description, we notice that we actually need to perform a test on the results of that calculation. We only want to see those opportunities where the realized revenue is less than a certain percentage of the forecast revenue. So we need to use this calculation again, but this time as a filter. So once again, we're going to click on Add Calculated Field. We are going to look for our actual amount field. So we'll scroll down to our Opportunity table. There it is. Once again, multiplying that field times 100 and putting that part of our calculation within parentheses and finally dividing it by the forecast amount known here as the sales potential. Now, although I have gone through the same steps of building this calculation, I could just as easily have copied and pasted the calculation syntax from my columns tab over to my filters tab. Now in my case, I need to specify that this calculation, this realized revenue, is less than a certain percentage of the forecast. So we're going to say is less than, and then in the compare value, we're going to leave the question mark. 
making this a parameter-driven filter, allowing this one query to be used in multiple events, maybe one event looking for less than 50%, another event using the same query looking for less than 65%, and so on. Now the value that we're going to eventually be checking against, referred to as the threshold, is in fact a numeric threshold, so we'll specify that the data type for this field is numeric, and because this is a parameter-driven field, we do need to specify the prompting text for this filter. So let's move over to our optional prompt, and we're going to say that the actual revenue is less than what percentage of forecast. Okay, we've now specified our optional prompt. At this point, we can test or preview the query. So, here is our parameter-driven filter. We'll say 50%. We want to see only those opportunities that were closed where the realized revenue was less than 50% of the forecast and say OK. And we come up with no matching records. And that's perfectly OK. Clearly, my database has no closed opportunities where the realized revenue was less than 50% of the forecast. However, by virtue of getting this preview window with no error message, that confirms for me that my calculation syntax is valid. At this point, I can save and close this particular query. Now, we're going to stop our training session on calculated fields with this for right now. Part 2 of Calculated Fields is going to discuss how to create date-based calculations within the Knowledge Sync application. Very specifically, we're going to be working with a query that looks for sales opportunities that are due to close within a certain number of days. Again, that's covered in Part 2 of our training sessions on query designing and the use of calculated fields. Thank you very much for your time, and we look forward to working with you in a future training session.